Hi guys. So let's start the first class. Python, right? So today we'll be doing first of all, we'll be doing the installation part. Okay. And then after the installation, we will see like which editor we'll be using. Okay, editor it means like uh, in future, like we'll be using a few lines, more lines to edit the code, right? And to do a scripting, correct? So that time we need an editor to write multiple lines, right? And we'll execute at the same time using the editor. And then finally, we'll be doing some scripting part. It means like we will write few programs. Okay, few programs, it means like basic programs, just uh, like, uh, let's suppose we have to add something, right? We have to get something. So these programs will write in the first class and very, very few basics will discuss. Okay, so let's start with the solution part first of all. Okay. So just type. install python the very first link you have to start just click on the down, download python this is the latest version 3.9.7 okay just wait and if if you have like different operating system like linux unix mac os right so you can choose a other file also okay but right now as we are doing in this windows right so we'll be installing this one Let's run. So add Python to the path. Yes, we have to add the Python to, to the path, right? So we'll discuss what is the use of this one. Okay, just install now. Say yes. Just close it okay now so let me go to python so this is your application right so you have two ways the one you can directly use cmd okay i'll just say python here let me wrap this one just wait python okay so now this is the path that we have for the python right so let's suppose if we want to like write some program or want to have some input right so we can just type writing the program so let's suppose i'll just type few inputs x is equal to one okay and then i'll say just print the x and then finally i'll be getting my output right so this is just overview right so we have two options one we can use cmd directly and we can use python and now i want to go out right so we have two things one i can use Control z or what i can do i can just say exit and this, these bars enter right same if i'll be using this one i can say Control z to get out from the python scripting okay so this was the first option that we can use cmd also right one more we have that is your application python directly okay this is opening again cmd just wait this 
we have to open this one, the idle piece, this one, idle file. Right. So here you can write the program. So we have two ways. One, we can directly use CMD to run the program, right? The second way we can use directly this one, right? But we have two ways of scripting, or we can say two ways to write a program, right? The first one, so let me just open a paint file. So basically we have two ways. One we have is interactive and the second one we have is scripting. Okay. Interactive, it means what we are doing here, we are just putting some commands in a single line. It means the device or the page will just get some few inputs from the user. Like I'll just say Python, right? And I'll just say type X is equal to one, right? And I will say print x that's it so it means what we are doing here right now we are using an interactive uh, python right but whenever we have a program right a complete program with multiple commands right multiple inputs we have right so what we do we call that as scripting it means we will be using some kind of editor right and after editor we'll be using this one so let me open a notepad Okay, so let's suppose um, we do have something, right? Let's suppose um, what I want here, I want to run the program. So let me say X is equal to one, right? Y is equal to two. And what I want here, I want a print of, let's suppose Z is equal to um, X plus Y. So right now what we have, we have multiple commands, right? We have multiple inputs. Okay, so now finally what I want here, I want a print of C and then that's it, correct. So in this condition, what we have, we have four inputs, right? We can also run in this interactive uh, session, right? But right now, let's suppose in future, we'll be having some uh, sequential step, right? We'll be having some conditional, will be some like a uh, repeated step, right? So that time we need editor, right? So right now, as I'm using this notepad, right? So what I'll do here, I'll just say, first of all, we need to have extension, right? So just save this file. So let me take a name. So this is test dot py. Okay, so the py is the, extension of the python okay so whenever we save any file uh, using dot py right it means that file we can open in the python directly right? okay enter and uh, let me check this okay there is a document now let me open document open this one And finally, I can just run the program using F5. So just run the module and you can see the answer that is three, right? So we had one plus two, that is three, right? So like this, we can, what we can do, we can cre uh, create multiple statements, right? And can run in a single run, right? So now let's install. So right now we have used a text editor that was a notepad, but now let me install. We will be using basically for our complete session, we will be using Atom application to do all the scripting. Okay, so now let's install the Atom. Yeah, the same site you have to open. Okay, so now let's download this one.
ไปโอเคสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดี x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 and then finally we need a z is equal to a like x plus y And finally, what I want here, I want to print this z, this one. And then again, I'll save this as let me save on desktop. Test dot py again. So every time we have to use dot py to install the scripting as a Python language, right? Save. I'll close this one right now. Okay. Now we can directly go to desktop and can see the file. Okay. This is test dot dot py. Edit this one right with this one, and now just run the file, and we have this output again, right? So we'll be using this item. Okay. Now the third step. Okay, so the installation part we have done, right? So we have our software, right? We have application, the Python, right? And we can do all the uh, scripting now. So now, the next step, we will discuss like a simple program. So I will write something and I'll just print something in a code. Okay, so I'll just open the same file again. Open this one. This one, okay. So let me change the code right now. Once again, okay. So let's suppose what I want. I just want to print something. Okay, print. Um, you have to put these quotes. Okay, print something like a uh, star with CNC for networking classes. Okay, close the brackets, enter, and just save and run F5. Okay, now we are getting the output, right? So this is the first program that we are running right now, right? So we are printing something, printing some text, right? So like this, whenever we need a output, right? So the this print is called as function, right? So we'll be using functions, we'll be using some constants, some operators, we'll be we'll, like we'll be using some variables, right? So we have n numbers of things, but this is the very first code that we are running here. We are just printing something, right? So it means if we need a text. So if we want to print a text, right? What we use, we just use print, and then in between you have to put your text data. That's it, and just run your information. Like here we have. Okay. Now let's suppose uh, if I add something here, like uh, again C and C. Okay, close this one. This was the output. Open the same file again. We can add one more thing here, like uh, again, like more text. We can add 
we can add the numbers also right anything we can add and once i'll run the again i'll say i have to save again if i'll do any changes here okay and it will show me the text file so this is the way that we can use a print function to get output right now let's talk about some few more things here okay like in future we'll be discussing in the detail also right but few in information so in the python we will be using some kind of variables variable will be using will be using some operator okay we will be using some constant we will be using some functions as we have done a print function right so these are the function we have okay now one more thing here these things will be using in the scripting right and what kind of strict scripting so we do have some example of scripting right the one i can take as a, a sequential sequential steps okay the second we can take like a, a conditional steps okay the third we can take is repeated step so now let's talk about one by one okay so this is the first class because we are just doing a overview of these things right now let's start this first one sequential okay so what we'll discuss here it means let's suppose we have something in the sequence only it means one two three four five just print the output that's it it means everything is goes by one two three four five just read this one read this one get the output read this one read this one and print your output finally so like in the same way that we have done if we have x is equal to one we have x we have y is equal to two right and then what i need what I need here is z is equal to x plus y, right? And then finally, print z. That's it. So what we have here, this is a sequential process, right? So the first step here we have that is sequential, right? That we have done right now. The next we can discuss that is conditional. Conditional, it means if you find this one, if you have this one, if you match this one, just do this task as those do this task. It means we have to match some condition. If the condition is true, then we'll be having a different output, right? If the condition get false, right? So we'll be having a different output. It means that is like, uh, let's suppose um, the X value we have is one. Okay. Now we are checking if the X value is equal to one, then print yes right if x value is 2 then print no that's it it means what we are doing here we have something right we have x value right and what we are doing we are checking the things right do we have that one if yes if that condition is true right just print yes if not just print no that's it that's a conditional it means we are putting some condition and using those conditions if the condition is true I'll show you some output. If the condition is false, I'll show you some output, right? So the first one we have done. Now let's talk about the second one, right? It means less, uh, like uh, the um, the task we have done for the first one. Okay. Now let's do some programming for the second one. Okay. So let me open our atom. atom. So let me get a new file here. Okay. So x is equal to twelve. Then I'll put some conditions here. If X is greater than 12, you have to put the colon to close this one right now. What you have to do, print value is big, right? If X is smaller than 12, then what you have to do, then now you have to print value is small that's it that this you have to do and after that once you get these things right then finally print task is over that's it okay so now let me save this file 
conditional dot py so we have to make sure whenever we save the configuration right these things right so just use dot py so we can directly run the py in the python right but i'll just go like this first of all initially i'll go to desktop i'll just go here we'll edit this one right just go one by one and just run this command okay using f5 directly so look here okay the task is over right now task is over okay so this does not match any condition right because x is equal to this one it means what is happening here look here if you find this one then you have to type this one then you have to print this one right if you find this value then you have to type value small right if you did not find anything then you have to do one thing it means after these things after these two conditions you have to type task is over right so right now these two conditions both are false right now let me do some changes here i'll make it 10 okay save the configuration and then run look here the value is small and then finally the task is over right it means what they are doing the device is checking this value is greater than 12 no if the condition is false it will go to the next step is that is like is this uh, condition is true yes this condition is true right and this 10 value is lower than 12 so just print a value is small and then finally after these things you have to print task is over now let me just put uh, 14 here right that is bigger than 12 right so it means we will get a output output of value is big and task is over right just save and control f5 okay and look here the value is big and the task is over so this is your conditional steps right now finally the third we get we do have multiple things here right so i'll just focus on these three things the sequential right the conditional and then finally let me talk about repeat it so like this we have n numbers of thing right n numbers of program we can write okay so these are the basics we have okay so we should know the conditional we should know the repeated we should know the sequential right so let's talk about the repeated in the repeated the device or we can say the python program will be checking conditions multiple times until it gets some value what values we'll discuss okay so this is like let me put some uh, lines it means x we have is one right now we are putting some condition here we are, put, we are like we are writing some task here what you have to do x if x is greater than zero if yes if no if yes so we can have two conditions okay so let me put this one here if yes then what you have to do just do one thing x minus 1 okay and print x that's it okay and then just go back to this one okay if no then print task is over so now, right now what we have here we have multiple conditions here it means what we are doing here the x value is one right it will check this condition is true yes this condition is true so yes it will say yes finally and it will go here it will execute this information it will say x minus one right so it means it will be zero now right so it will print zero now it will go here it will again check now the x values is zero correct because earlier here the x value was one but now after running this information right the x value is now zero so this x earlier the x was storing one but now after running this output the x will store only zero okay it will go here it will verify again now the x value is zero that is greater than zero no now it will give me the output of print task is over 
it means what will happen here let's suppose um, i will put here 5 so the initial value of x is 5 okay it will go here it will verify 5 is greater than 0 yes that is true it will go here it will do one thing it will decrement 1 right now the x value is 4 right it will again repeat the step and it will show me this x this 4 right in this print it will show me 4 now finally now the x value is 4 it will check this one 4 is greater than 0 yes that is true it will go here we'll do a decrement 4 minus 1 now that will be 3 it will print 3 now the x value is containing 3 it will do the same thing 3 is greater than 0 yes if there is yes so again it will do a decrement 3 minus 1 that is true 2 now right now the x value is 2 it will keep going right it will keep doing the task 1 and then finally if one if we have 1 right now it will say 1 minus 1 now that is 0 it will print 0 definitely because now the next step is print 0 print x right whatever the value we have in the x it will go here it will say 0 is greater than 0 no now the condition is false now if the condition is false it will go out here and will print task is over it means what output will be getting 4 3 2 1 0 and the task is over so this is kind of repeated step it means we are doing some repetitions here and then finally if the condition get false then what we have task is over that's it let's do the same program okay now for these things we have a function that is while let's do that okay so let's open the atom again create a new file okay now so let's suppose we have x the x value is uh, 100 okay And then I'll say while x is greater than zero, okay, columns you have to use then. Then do one thing. X put the well put the new value here x x minus one. Okay, then you have to do print your x value. That's it. Okay, now this will keep this in a loop, right? So it will keep decrementing. It will keep showing the values, right? One by one, one by one. Now once the zero will be there right it will check zero is greater than zero no that condition is false right finally it will come here and it will print task is done that's it okay so let me save this file repeat it dot py enter so just go there add it this one Okay, now just run this file. So look here. This started from 99 because initially it is decrementing a one number, right? 99, 98. It will keep doing the same task until it gets a value zero, right? And then finally the task is done because now the X value is zero. It will verify the same condition again. No, now that gets false, right? And it will show me finally the task is done. So this is your program. So right now what we have done, we have done three programs, right? A sequential, right? The conditional, the repeated. So these th three things are the basic things, right? Uh, basic steps we have. I hope these things are clear to all of you. Okay. In the next class, we'll discuss more. And uh, that's it for the day. Bye. Take care, guys.